So let's have a look at a roller team. This is a roller team sport edition and this is 65,995 and as you can see it's got a massive overhead cab here. You can see how much that overhangs, it almost reaches the front of the bonnet. It's absolutely huge over, overhang there. A the big skylight on the top. Have a look around. So I've got the Ford steel wheels. This is the 290 model. So Roller Team Sapphire Sport, two litre, 130 brake horsepower, six speed manual, overall length 7.43. So it's not that long, 2.35, but the overall height is 3.2 metres. Obviously because of that over cap there. Quite a big awning pull out canopy going all the way along. Look at the size of this door for the locker. That is huge. Can you remember what the MTPLM is here, but you could probably fit, I don't know, a car in there. Oh, this is enormous, this is incredible. <laughs> I think I've said this before, I've looked at these uh, Sapphira Sports, the, the lockers on this are just humongous. The garages. I mean, you just <laughs> just give you an idea how big this is. You could almost stand up in here. <laughs> I mean, think about it. Is that the the bed does come down, so they've probably got this all the way up. Now, will it come down any further, or is that going to go up even further, even higher? I'm not sure actually. Maybe it goes up even higher, but you've got these tie down points so you could put your, your, I don't know, your bike, your scooter, your goodness knows what else, but you really would have to watch that payload. Oh yeah, there's a, a bed raising mechanism there. You've got sockets in here, you've got a 10 amp, uh, 12 volt socket there. Main socket in here. This would be great if you were doing like, I don't know, um, cart racing or something like that. Something that's not too heavy, but you need the space. You can almost have a, like a workshop in there. <laughs> it's just huge. There's also a shower point over there, I just noticed. <laughs> and you've still got lockers on here. I mean, these vans do make me laugh. They, they are absolutely enormous. <laughs> Just the space they've got in there. I'm sure there'd be some sort of compromise inside, but we'll have a look at that in a minute. Bike rack provision on the back here. That's a reasonable height as well. But why would you want a bike rack? Yeah, there you go. That's why, why you'd want it. Racing, uh, race set, karting, rafting, rowing, rock climbing, running. Uh, relax and rally. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, all the reasons you might want this sport edition. Sort of gas lockridge have we got. Oh, unfortunately, that's closed, but no doubt there's plenty of provision there. Water point. And good old Ford cab. Yeah, the mirrors come out quite a way, obviously, because you quite wide here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but do watch your weight here. I don't suppose anyone's ever been stopped for <laughs> being overweight, but you never know. Right, so what have we got? Quite a low entrance step, so I don't think you need a pull out step. Just a couple of steps in. Two, three. There we go. <laughs> First things first, this bed up here, I can't, I can't even see up there. It's, I can raise the camera, but that looks huge. So yeah, that's probably the best bed in the, in the place. Again, this locker here. I know I've looked at these before. I've probably looked at them at the show before, but they do make me smile. Good size lockers there. Let's have a look at the front. It's a reasonable size table. It's not not got a folding mechanism, but that's okay. It's 
it's on a pedestal. If it goes up or down, I can't see any controls at the moment. Perhaps we'll look for that in a minute. But uh, Ford cab seats, and there we are in the lounge. Yeah, it's not a bad place to be. You've got like net curtains, what they're called Roman Roman blinds. Let's see what's behind them. Okay, that's different. Oh yeah, it's okay. I can't get to it because of these blinds. But yeah, well you've got two. You've got a fly screen type thing and a, a fabric one to pull down. Okay, what have you got at the front here? Have we got any blinds? No blinds at the front, so you would be wanting a cover for your windscreen. Some sort of cover, internal or external, prefer a tailor-made screen. That would be good. And usual sort of Ford cab with your lockers up there. Yeah, it's a standard type Ford radio there. Nothing fancy there, so you might want a, an extra sat nav. Ah, all right, turning around. Tilly's on a um, quite a nice sort of bracket there. You can pull up and down, get it actually probably get it quite a reasonable level, and then push it up to get it out of the way. Oh yeah, little touch screen panel for all your controls. There's your TV points there. Fly screen on the door. I don't know why I mentioned fly screens. Every van seems to have a fly screen, so there were the days when they didn't have fly screens and you bought those little drop down things. What have you got here? I've got a locker that pulls out. I quite know why there's so much space up there. It looks like you could put another shelf in there. Another locker there, another shelf rather. Uh, not a bad, not a bad kitchen area. They could have brought it out, oh, perhaps not. You probably won't be able to get through. Three there, nice little thing for your condiments. Uh, yeah. You see the, the, the compromise possibly is in the kitchen area. You've got a small oven there, but yeah, that's okay. But yeah, <laughs> that bed, it, it, it just, it, I don't know, it looks too big. I don't think it needs to be quite that high. I don't know, maybe anyone's got, anyone's got an overcab bed like that, let me know. <laughs> because uh, that just looks huge, it's like a room on its own. Anyway, washroom. Here we go. Into the washroom. Oh, yeah, okay. We've got a like, plinth. Um, Quite a high toilet, nice deep basin there. A little bit of a, we've got some controls in there. What's that, is that a solar charge controller? It's quite dark in here, they've got like dark wood in here. I don't know where there's a light here. There is some light in here, but I don't know where the rest of it is. Good job I've got my own light on here, but it does make it feel a bit dark in here, this dark wood. There's your um, shower screen. Okay. It's not a bad shower. Always good to see two shower points here. So you could almost sit in there. <laughs> I assume it's, yeah, what's happening of course here is you've got the wheel arch, haven't you? Yeah. Good size locker there. Is that a touch screen or something? Oh yeah, there we go. Touch screen, touch screen lights. Oh, touch screen, touch lights. Okay, that's nice, nice touch. Hanger thing there. Okay, rest of the kitchen, nearly missed it. Yeah, nice fridge, good size fridge. The drawer, pull out, pull out drawer. Yeah, and quite, quite a decent looking fridge area, uh, freezer area. And a little locker above. Good, I can't open that. Oh, blimey. Well, the springs on there mean it. 
and there's your hanging space. I think this would, four berth would be, well, yeah, we'd be okay. I don't think you'd want to be sleeping more than four people in here, but uh, that's a reasonable size. So there's more space down there. Access to, <laughs> to this crazy garage. Yeah, you need a ladder obviously to get up into, into the bed as well because it's quite a way up. I'll just give you an idea, it's almost at shoulder height here. But uh, I should think it fits in, I don't know if this is in its lowest position or its highest position, but uh, you can move it up and down, but it doesn't give you a huge amount of sitting up area in there. Uh, yeah, and you've got uh, these, uh, this thing here, which is stopped you falling out through here, but well, this bed is enormous. It's very wide and uh, yeah, I think I'll try and find out how wide this bed is, but it's huge. Yeah. There's a little bit of shelf space across the back there. Yeah, I think that bed must actually be in its lowest position. So this is the highest uh, on the garage. So presumably you can wind it up to make uh, even more height in here if you need it. Up the top there, and if you're not using this bed, if there's only two of you, you can put that up there. You could end, almost stand up in there, I think. I think I've said it before, there's an awful lot of motorhome there for 65,995. But yeah, if you're into your activities, something to consider definitely. A slightly smaller roller team here. This is the Zephyro Zephyro 665, 69,695. So slightly cheaper. This is slightly shorter and not quite as tall. Have a look. So 665. Okay. There's the, uh, the specs thing. Nope. Okay. Okay, so they haven't put the spec sheet on this yet, so uh, I might be just winging this a little bit. I might put up the uh, specs as we go along. I assume it's 3,500 capacity on steel wheels on a Fiat chassis by the looks of it. Other way. No, other way. That's it. Again, it's a huge garage. I mean, this looks like quite a, not a very long motorhome, but this is a huge garage in here. Uh, it's fixed um, roof here on the garage. So this is what you get. Access from inside there. Uh, tie down points there. Let's go and look around the other side. This is fitted with a bike rack. Okay, a four bike bike rack. <laughs> Rear view camera on the back. But yeah, the massive door here. Found the light for it. Yeah. Mains point there. Okay, again they've got this like dark wood finish. But yeah, that is a big garage. Very good. It's got this um, catch here I found to hold the door. And just behind the door, you've got the toilet cassette emptying point. Locker, gas locker there, can't see in it. But yeah. Bit of a step up, that fly screen on there, two steps in and you're in. Okay. Ford cabs, manual, you've got the Ford lockers up there. Big shelf up here, uh, but obviously they can't put a locker in there because they've got a big uh, window there. Yeah. Okay. And this is a sort of more conventional travel seat arrangement. Fixed table, 
travel seat with built-in headrests. Yeah, they've got the fly screen down. There is another blind there as well. And a little more occasional seat there, or what do you call it, an occasional seat? I don't know. No, but a uh, window mirror there, rather. And you've got the touchscreen controls. Got your TV point above there with a bracket already fitted, which is nice to see. And a 12 volt mains there. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. Way around here. And you've got a drop down bed here. I don't know if this is. There's that. One. Always worry about bringing this down too far because. Yeah, that looks okay. I can see how far down it comes. You can see the end of the runner there on that side and on that side because it, obviously you've got a big locker coming down with it so it's not going to go all the way down. But yeah, there we go. And that's up. So yeah, that's quite handy. Quite a, quite a cut. You can't really see this. I just noticed it. Quite a cut off there. You see this, this bit here. I don't think there's anything they can do about that because it's quite a bit narrower this end than it is that end. It's difficult to show you when you're looking at it, but you can see there's that goes in quite a way. So as long as you've got narrow feet, you'll be all right. So all the motor and everything's in that thing there. But it's not really a problem if there's only two of you because you've got a nice big transverse bed at the back here. There's a bit of bomb bashing potential in there with those cupboards across the back. But uh, I suppose you do it a couple of times or as someone said seven times and you stop doing it after that. Yeah, you've got some reading lights there so I presume they want you to sleep that end. And there's no cut off. Well, I said there's no cut off. I just noticed it's a little bit narrower this end than it is that end. Okay, but it looks fairly wide anyway. Okay, and you've got access to the carriage. Also got a fridge. They're quite nice these. I, I like these fridges with the, the bottle drawer and everything. Thetford ones. Let's have a look at the kitchen. So again, you've got a, a little shelf here. Somewhere to store your plates, three burner corner unit, reasonable size sink. There's no uh, real workspace for the table there. I'm presuming you'll be doing a bit of preparation on that table. A little uh, Thetford duplex grill oven. And you've got a drawer here and some cupboard space underneath and some more yeah, yeah. Cupboardry under there, not a huge amount of fuses are in there. Okay, got this rather bright lighting strip here. And then we're into the washroom. Uh, I was looking for the touch things that not got the touch lights. Thought that was it, but that's all just a vent really. Okay. And the toilet up on a bit of a pedestal, not too bad, or no, it's probably not too bad. Two drainer uh, shower area, and the shower's enclosed by these these doors here. Fly screen door, not fly screen, what do they call them? Let me just see if I can get in here. There we go. Give you a better view here. Yeah. A little locker there. Yeah, combined shower and tap. Try not to stand on the plastic. But uh, you'd inevitably you'd end up standing on that. But yeah. Touch screen lights, oh, that's good. Yeah, the touch screen lights there, I didn't notice that. 
There's your locker space, your hanging space rather. So quite a short van, uh, plenty of garage space if you don't mind climbing up into the, uh, the bed up there, or if you don't mind a bit of a cut off here. I think it'd be good for three people this, wouldn't it? Okay, this is a 2022 uh, Ford Caledonian camper van. And it's 56,995 